Hey, I'm Randy and I'm the Chief Audio Man. Here at the Chief Audio Man, we don't feel like audio equipment, speakers, amps, DACs, turntables, cables, interconnects, digital optical cables, cassettes, tone arms, phono preamps, headphones, headphone cables, balanced cables. Should cost more than um, a really cool, like if you commissioned a really cool like piece of jewelry that had your initials on it, maybe some rhinestones or rubies or other really cool gems so that you can remind everybody or yourself what your name is or initials. And these don't. What are they? They're the Q Acoustics. 30, 30, whoa, careful, 30, 30 eyes. So grab a cup of coffee, sit down, and let's talk about the Q Acoustics 30, 30 eyes. Today's sponsor is the Free Spirit Spider. It's a bicycle. It looks like it's moving even when it's standing still. It's available at Sears. Yeah, it's a good looking bike. It's a real good looking bike. Uh, here's what Sears has to say. When you have a free spirit, you always have somewhere to go. If we're out of the model you want, remember the free spirit is a bicycle worth waiting for. Only at larger Sears, Roebuck and Company retail stores or through the Sears catalog. Apparently you can't order it online. All right, good looking bike. Q Acoustics 3030i. Six and a half inch paper something or other tweeter. It's got some something injected into it. I'll tell you what's injected into it. Magic. It's a magic, it's magic injected. It's a six and a half inch paper cone woofer with magic injected. I'll have to check on that. I'm not sure if that's right. Okay, 0.9 inch tweeter, decoupled tweeter, uh, frequency response 46 up to 30K, 6 ohms, 88 dB, $399. All right, let's take a look at it. It has a very nice woofer. Hold on, I haven't done this in a while. Oh, yeah. Oh, let's bring her up here. It, they, him up here. Okay, so you got a little surround that's uh shiny shiny good looking a little bit of a waveguide up here not too deep uh looks like very very nice fabric dome tweeter all right looks good built really well yeah it's uh got point to point bracing that's what it says in the marketing stuff rear port very cool binding posts like they're not sticking out all over the place i like that nice port um good finish it's kind of a matte finish it um it's nice i like it i reviewed the 3020s uh way back when this channel started like four months ago and i was really impressed i was really impressed with the build quality i was really impressed with the sound quality so i was very excited when q acoustics Sent me the 3020 eyes and the 3030 eyes. All right. They look good. All right. They're built well. They come in a variety of finishes. Um, white, I think this color and maybe a walnut color and maybe one other. Obviously, I'm very prepared for this video. Let's talk about sound staging. Sound Sunstage imaging, 14 second mark in Wherever I May Roam by Metallica off the Black Album or the Metallica Album. There is a... Comes out of the right speaker. If it sounds stages and images well, it'll sound like it's coming away right. Sometimes even like directly to your right. This did it very well. Um, in a symmetrical room, larger room, if you can pull these out three feet from the rear wall and have somewhat symmetrical sidewalls, these speakers will disappear. The soundstage will be behind them. It'll be not super high, but it will be pretty high. Um, 
and you need to get them you know a good bit off the ground right at ear level this tweeter is not harsh okay so you can get it right at ear level playing with the toe in but it will disappear it's very nice very nice uh the chain fleetwood mac um she was right dead center what is her name hmm i don't know everybody in the comments is going to be lighting me up i know exactly i always think of her name but then i forget it when i'm doing videos all right anyway she was dead center listen to the wind blow uh more human than human white zombie led by rob zombie uh the electronic noises start in the middle back and forth uh no no break in the speaker so it traveled very smoothly now obviously if you have them pointed out or whatever i had these in the office i had them about 20 inches from the wall towed in slightly not directly at my ear in the listening room which is really the kids playroom uh i had them towed in at me and then towed in even more aggressively and then towed out slightly. sounded good in, in all situations the center image was it was still locked on in in every situation I don't really think I gained much. I think I gained a bit of sound stage width when I had them aggressively towed in. Okay. Let's talk about bass. If there was any question on whether or not this speaker was worth $399, that should be put to bed right now. The bass on this speaker is an absolute standout. With uh, And here's the thing about Q... Q, Q acoustics. I, don't, I feel strange when I say Q. I feel like I'm saying it wrong. Even though I'm not, I still feel like I'm saying it wrong. It just seems strange to me to say Q. I'm sure you really were interested in that. Okay, with a reported low frequency response of 46, I was very excited because the 3020, not the 3020i, the 3020 was only rated down to like 62. And that thing hit and that's when the light turned on for me that all all of this this low frequency rating stuff is can be a bunch of shenanigans because it doesn't really give an impression of how hard the speaker hits or how low it rolls off to and still you can still hear it so i was excited when i saw 46 because i know q acoustics is a bit conservative with their low frequency um, specifications and boy was I happy. Same situation, okay? Intergalactic by the Beastie Boys. Again, I use this all the time to test, well, punch and roll off. But if you have good roll off, good bass roll off in a speaker and it already is spec pretty low, you're gonna get the impression of the enormity and depth of that bass. Here's the one that really got me though. This is like the test of all tests for me uh, for bass low bass extension okay and a lot of people you know maybe not be into my music per se and i get that and so i try to change it up a little bit so it may be appealing to other folks out there so uh the track's called narcissistic cannibal the band uh the artist is corn okay anyway at the one minute mark which makes it very convenient at the one minute mark there is a Boo, boo, and it goes down and now usually the only way that i've heard that song hit that low was if i had a subwoofer hooked up i've never i i mean i've got like a hint of it from other speakers but the the 30 30 eyes really is the if that's the best i've heard that song okay with maybe except the exception of a kit that i just put together but for the most part, I have never heard a speaker handle that song as well as a Q Acoustics 3030i. The bass on this can almost, and I'm stressed the word almost, be too much in a real small room. Almost. Almost. I'm, don't shy away from it. If you're in a small room it's great because at low volumes you still feel that heft and the meat in there and if you don't have the budget for a subwoofer right now you don't need it all right let's talk about mid-range mm -hmm. 
mid range on the speaker is good if a little bit mm, it's not it's definitely not emphasized and i wouldn't say it's scooped out or v-shaped it's just uh i think i think the the more of the presence here is on the bass and a little bit on the treble the mid-range is not neglected or ignored it's there but if you're looking at the speaker's characteristic the mid-range is not going to be the oh it's magical mid-range it's not a bad mid-range quite frankly the mid-range is great uh hello by adele her voice was quite clear still had body um shoot to thrill acdc came in crunchy and had body rooster Great separation, uh, Rooster, Alice in Chains, MTV Unplugged. Great separation of um, the voices and the harmonies. Also good acoustic guitars. I think where I've heard better, and I've heard better, this is on more expensive speakers. It's not, not necessarily a fair fight. There starts to be some nuances in the voice, vibratos and things like that. But from a sound perspective... All the bases are covered with mid-range. It's not doing anything spectacular in the mid-range, but it's also not doing anything wrong in the mid-range. Let's talk about treble. Center Man by Nina Simone, the 16th notes at the beginning. Okay. Uh, they had detail and they had body, which is good. Uh, so they're not, it wasn't shh, shh, shh. You know, it didn't seem um, manufactured, okay? Uh, it seemed natural, all right? Uh, it's not too revealing, which is good, unless you're just after that. But this speaker will play all music fairly well. So, like, the Yamo C93 2s, super revealing speaker. And on some recordings, it can, quite frankly, just sound bad. And, quite frankly, it can sound pretty um, fatiguing at times, that speaker. This speaker, not at all. Uh, it's very balanced while maintaining uh, clarity. It's very good. All right. Yeah. I didn't really have much else on treble. The, the tweeter is decoupled, and it's a good thing from the uh, enclosure because this thing hits hard. So, if it was just plopped right into the enclosure, there you'd get some... Uh, not too fun stuff when the bass hits. All right. What are my final thoughts? Final thoughts on this speaker is, to me, this is the best all-around speaker that you can get for $399. I don't think it's going to offend anybody. The standout hmm, characteristic of the speaker is the bass, how low it goes and how hard it hits. There's nothing wrong at all with the mid-range or highs. Frankly, it's the high the highs are done so well to me because they're not spiky all over the place and they're not causing any fatigue. It's not the last word as far as like clarity and resolution and air and ambiance. But at 399, there aren't that's that's kind of like the next level in speakers is when we start to really get into the nuances and the immersive experience. These will get you in the immersive experience. So if you can get them three feet out from the wall and or more and start to play around with towing and things like that. It's fantastic. To be fair, there's not a lot of speakers in the $400 category. This kind of lies between, let's say, the ELAC Debut B 6.2 uh, and then like the SVS Prime, Clips RP 600M, uh, Wharfdale Diamond 12.2s. This uh, ELAC Unify UB 52s. This reminds me of the ELAC Unify UB 52s. Um, but maybe it doesn't soundstage an image that well and maybe doesn't have the detail. But it's also $200 cheaper. It's close though. So the, the sound signature that this, the 3030i's, to me, is most similar to is the debut uh, B, Unify, U, Unify UB52, the second generation UB5s. And that is one of my all time favorite speakers. Okay, so that's the highest of compliments to, 
to the QQ63030i. All right, great speaker, heavy value. I don't think anybody's gonna hear this and be like, oh my goodness, this is horrible. Um, it's not It's not super warm, it's not super bright, it's right in the middle and it will punch you in the face like a angry, all right, let's come up with a good one. It'll punch you in the face like an angry butcher when you suggest to him that you, uh, you, you want some vegan bacon. Uh, so if you want to support the channel, there's a few ways you can do it. You can use the links to buy the 3030 eyes. It's an affiliate link. So I do get a commission. You can sign up for Patreon, patreon.com slash cheap audio, man. Every Sunday night we have patron only zooms. Uh, we also chit chat on the patron only for the most part, Facebook group. Sometimes we chit chat on text message and things like that. All right. Also patron only content. Did I say that? I don't know. Uh, you can sign up for Amazon Music HD for free. There's a link in the description. Click on the link, scroll down to the bottom, click Try HD. You get three months for free. I get a couple of dollars. I have a bunch of playlists, not a bunch, three playlists. My test tracks, the Satanic Panic, and Leg Warmers. Also, if you're interested in getting a DIY speaker, but you're intimidated by the build process, contact me, and I will put it together for you for a nominal fee, and then... Put it together and ship it to you. I'll measure it and everything to make sure it's working. All right. So don't binge watch Netflix or Hulu or anything. Binge listen through your Q Acoustics 3030i and fill your soul with happiness. And with that, I'm Randy. I'm the Cheap Audio Man.